Now, Allied's greatest ever autumn super deal brings you sensational bonus discounts on all carpets and curtains when you spend £100 or more. For a limited period only, there are super deal bonus discounts on thousands of ready-made and made-to-measure curtains and on a million square yards of top-quality carpets. In stock now for immediate delivery. All this plus free fitting on all carpets $6.99 and over. It all adds up to Allied's greatest ever autumn super deal. Don't miss it. Sunday on YTV sees the return of Heart to Heart. Jonathan and Jennifer are hot on the scent of murder. Definitely the scent of murder. At ten million dollars an ounce. Heart to Heart on the Scent of Murder, Sunday night at 8.45 on YTV. But now, Gloria Hannaford provides the teasers in We Love TV. What show JR was in before Dallas? Or what business the brothers ran? The answers to these and other questions are on... We Love TV. And here with all the answers is Gloria Honeyfall. much. Good evening. I hope you're going to play along with us tonight on We Love TV. That's part of the object because you can have a lot of fun at home. We also have some smashing old clips of the stars as they used to be before fame and fortune. And we'll also be testing out tonight the singing skills of our contestants. So the caterwauling I'm looking forward to very much indeed. Now, did you know the answers to those two questions we asked you right at the top of the program? What show was JR in before Dallas? Well, Larry Hagman was in I Dream of Jeannie. It was a comedy about an astronaut who meets a genie. And the brothers, of course, ran a road haulage firm. We're going to meet our viewers team straight off tonight. From Preston, we have Susan Wilson, who works for a firm that makes surgical dressings. And from St Anne's on Sea, the posh end of Blackpool, we have Peter Doherty, who's a bar steward. Peter, your club is the Ernie Social Club. Have you ever won any money there? No, I've never met him yet. Haven't met the man in question, I see. And actually, uh, Susan, I hope you're not going to need any of your surgical dressings tonight, are you? Know. It'll not be that painful, I assure you, because it's time to meet our celebrities, a lady who's certainly no stranger to panel games and a very versatile actor who's done everything from Shakespeare to rings on their fingers. It's Isla Sinclair and Martin Jarvis. <laughs> You don't realise how lucky you are tonight, Martin, because do you realise that uh, Isla is our patron saint tonight? That is absolutely... Yes, it's true. I discovered this last night. I was playing an indoor game, one of these things, card games, and on the back of it asked these questions. It said, what's the patron saint of television? It's St. Clair. Good heavens. What? Something. You didn't realise I was that old. No, I can uh, wear your own money. <laughs> Uh, well, she would look lovely. <laughs> Welcome anyway. I hope you enjoy the programme tonight. And I suppose you could say that this is the showdown of television, as both sides really have a, a battle to see who knows more about television. Is it those who watch it or those who appear on it? So why don't you follow me down the trail to the Wild West? Long Ranger. Three generations of young people have thrilled to the daring exploits of this masked rider and his Indian partner, Tonto. getting a cowboy to carry the shopping. But those were just four of a whole range of westerns, you get it? All right, so fingers on your ding as they say. Are you all set? Where was Gunsmoke set? 
Arizona. Peter, Arizona. It was indeed Dodge City. No points, I'm afraid. <laughs> what, what were you going to say, Mark? Oh, Dodge, Dodge City, City, of course. Oh, of course. <laughs> what was the Lone Ranger's calling card, the thing he always left behind? Silver bullet. Silver bullet it was. Five points. What was the name of Clint Eastwood's character in Rawhide? Peter. Uh, uh, Rowdy Yates. Rowdy Yates it was, not old Eddie Yates. Now, James Garner play, played the title role in The Rockford Files, of course. He also starred in a Western. How did he make his living in it? Isla. Gambling. Maverick. Gambling, yes. yes gambling. The show was Maverick and he was a gambler, five points you get. In The Lone Ranger, Jay Silverheels played Tonto. What did they call his companion? Kimasabi. Kimasabi. Kimasabi, do you know what it means? Friend. Faithful friend, yes, five very good points. Right, can you name me a star of the Virginian? Peter, oh, Susan. Is Doug McClure. Uh, yes, Doug uh, McClure. Oh, I've only, I wanted one. Do you know any others? Martin, where are you going to say something? Yes. Lee J. Cobb. Lee J. Cobb, you don't get any points Robert for Stanwyck. it. <laughs> but uh, you're not going to get any more points because Susan actually did get the one. Doug McClure, Lee J. Cobb and James Drury you could have had. Well done. Okay, at the end of that round, haha. -ha. Celebrities are on five and the viewers team are on 20. Oh. I could go on all night, of course, on questions about Westerns, but I have one very valuable bonus question coming up for 10 very valuable points. So, the thing is, here's a list of the Westerns we showed you at the beginning. The Lone Ranger, Bonanza, High Chaparral and Gunsmoke. Do you know which one lasted the longest? Peter. Bonanza. Bonanza. Well, let's see if you're right, Peter. I've been kicking around Hollywood a long time. I've made a lot of pictures out here. All kinds. And some of them have been Westerns. And that's what I'm here to tell you about tonight. A Western. A new television show called Gunsmoke. So, there we are. John Wayne, he actually introduced the first of 640 episodes of Gunsmoke. So I'm afraid you were wrong on that, Peter. No bonus points. And it's a bit of extra information. It was probably the worst decision he ever made because he turned down the role in Gunsmoke. He did uh, suggest, actually, that James Arness played Matt Dillon, and he was the one who picked up the paycheck for 640 episodes. Now, ever since ITV came on the air in September 1955, school kids have had new songs to sing in the playground. Of course, they are the commercial <coughs> jingles. This is where the singing is setting in and the groaning from the other side. But, you know, some have even had major international singing stars. What a day feeling swell. Hey, say, Mr. Shell, let's do the town on Shell, Shell, Shell. I'm with you, Sammy. We'll hop right in. We'll see the lot on Shell. I say, will you stop at the Ritzia's shops? We'll swing around on Shell. Sammy Davis Jr. going very well on Shell. I'm dying to see how you lot are going to go this evening. Oh <laughs> you are going to be our jolly jinglers, and what we're going to do is show you each in turn a product, and you have to sing out, with all the actions, by the way.